Hey, I have a quick little tip I wanted to share. Just a little technique for paint. I've got this box going here, ready for the neck, and I've got my neck spray painted. Got a you know, scarf joint on my headstock heel right here. It's, it's just all real nice and clean. And for me, I think I need to uh, scratch it up just a little bit. But I don't want it to look just old and beat up. Just a little wear. So I thought I'd show you a little paint technique that that I like to employ on my builds every once in a while and just gives it a little bit of character. So let's get to that. All right, so here is my neck all nice and clean and I'm really looking at these edges here. That's the part I'm gonna, just gonna put just a little bit of wear on it. And I'm gonna use some sandpaper. This is, this is just like 220. I'm just gonna tear off a little piece of that. And, and all I wanna do, I don't wanna, I don't wanna scratch the whole thing up. All I want to do is just catch the corners with this sandpaper and it doesn't take much. So let's see here. If I just come in and scratch onto this just a little so I just hit the corner. You can already see it gives you a nice worn tool line there and if you hit all your corners it'll be very subtle But it's gonna just give you a nice, nice accent lines on your on your build without making it look like it's just been beat up. All right, it's just gonna give us just enough to give it just a little bit of worn character and not brand spanking new. Anyway, so that's my technique. I know it's not much, but man, it, it really can make a build look used or, or give you just nice edges. Here's this other guitar that I made a while back. And you can kind of see there's the little rough edges right there. Continued it here on my tuning plate, just on the edges, everywhere down the neck. And, it, and this is just such an easy technique to do and gives you a nice, slightly weathered effect. So there you go.